You know, on a practice day, I usually wake up around 9.30. I'm eating breakfast you know, with Isaac, my chef, around 9.45, 10 o'clock. Hey, how are you? Good. Good. What we got today? Uh, I got an egg with um, some avocado and I got a baba ganoush spread on it. Baba ganoush? Yeah. The usual. The usual. I see Isaac every single day. I mean, every, every day that I'm here, I see him. You know, whether it's all three meals out of the day, two meals, or maybe just breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Checking out NBA.com right now. See what's on the front page. Mellow trades. Is it gonna happen or is it not gonna happen? That's my thing. He did play well last night, though, 28 and 10 against uh, the Suns, so. I found Isaac through my Uncle Mike. He's always on the road with the, uh, the Beach Boys, still, to this day. So, you know, he always has to have a, a chef. And I think he's had a chef now for, you know, 20 plus years. So I actually have uh, my Aunt Jacqueline, his wife, uh, come out here and find Isaac for me. We uh, tried out three different chefs, had to make one of my favorite meals that my mom makes, fettuccine Alfredo. Isaac made it, made it the best, and now, third year, Isaac's still here. Kevin, for only being 22 years old, is real mature for his age, and you know, he treats from, me well. From what he said, it's yeah. easy, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got the well-balanced meal with the fruit, you got the carbs, you got the the avocado, you got the protein with the egg, because I like to, and I have to eat the good food. So I think I was, you know, 280 pounds with, you know, 15 plus percent body fat coming into the NBA, and, you know, now those are both way down. You know, when you think about it too, if you put diesel fuel in an unleaded tank, it's not going to run that well. So if you put good food in, you're going to get good product out. That's why you see all those 2020s. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> From the corner, and Kevin Love with a long reach. And it's a 20th rebound tonight. What about the effort by Kevin Love? 20 points, 21 boards. You were at the game last night? Yeah. He's the guy that, uh, if you know, I had a bad game or I don't want to talk about basketball, I can you know, come in and you know, kind of BS with him uh, throughout the day. It's been great. You know, having him around, he is basically like extended family now. Yeah. This is my, my little shrine. My, you know, parents helped me, you know, put in here just to you know, remind me of, you know, all sorts of memories and, you know, kind of, you know, why I made it. Here is a gold medal from, from Turkey. It's pretty cool. Something I look at, try to look at every day. I mean, not many people have these, what, 13 now in the NBA, including Shaq? You know, it's pretty awesome to have one of these. John Wooden Award. We got the uh, Kevin Love official bobblehead. It's weird, you know, some people's bobbleheads don't look anything like them. This looks just like me. I also have my card of my dad and myself. Obviously, the, the shorts were a little bit higher back then. If he, you know, played five years professionally, Having him as a dad growing up was the best thing you know, I could ever ask for. He was you know, very hard on me uh, from early age, but also backed off and you know, started becoming you know, more of a teacher as I developed you know, different skills and obviously got taller. You know, ever since I was in my crib or you know, in my walker, I've had a basketball in my hands, and you know, I'm sure my dad placed those there. You know, basketball has, has always been in my blood, and you know, that's kind of proof right there. It's gone by so fast. It seems like yesterday I was just shooting with my dad in, in the driveway. You know, then came grade school, then came junior high, then came high school, then came UCLA, then came draft day, and wow, it's just gone by, you know, so fast. I forgot to show you guys one last thing I think it's pretty cool. Um, something I got from Christmas from my, my Uncle Mike and Aunt Jackie. Yeah, I actually used to get teased about it in grade school all the way up through high school about the Beach Boys. Uh, you know, my Uncle Mike is the lead singer. The Beach Boys, Sounds of Summer. Double platinum record right here. You know, I, once I got to UCLA, I just ran with it. You know, everybody was coming up to me asking me all sorts of questions about it, and they were excited about it. And now, being out here in you know, Minneapolis, people still love it. Now, what do you say? Should we go to practice? I'm ready if you are. We usually get to practice about an hour and a half, hour and 15 ahead of time. In the NBA, you only have 
a day, a day and a half to be prepared for you know the next team ahead. Just try to focus on you know the Washington Wizards tomorrow night. Yeah, so it's about 17 degrees outside today. Hit a little bit of a heat wave. Just gonna walk right in here to the backstage of Target Center. Head right into the training room, get dressed. It's a locker room, nothing, nothing spectacular. Wiz, 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 Wiz. What's up, Wiz? That was funny, what's these cameras for? <laughs> You? On 24 hours with Kevin Love. Oh, Kevin Love, huh? Yeah. I can tell y'all something about Kevin Love. He's annoying. Uh, talk when no one should be talking. Yeah, show, me, show me the dance, Rob. Oh, OK, OK. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, Rob. <laughs> look at him, look at him. Oh, give him the spin. Give him, oh! <laughs> it's real fun to be around. You know, uh, a jokester. Don't really let nobody be down around him. You know, even if you're mad, he, he don't care. Let me ask you a question. JB, have you ever seen Hang Time? OK, we're going to go there. We're going to go there. Huh? Gonna, gonna, hey, Peck, you ever seen Hang Time? <laughs> OK, all right, all right. Yeah. Hey, has anybody ever seen Hang Time? That's not right. Spread love. That's the that's nickname we give him, Spread Love. Just a guy that always like joking around with people. You know, he'll tap you on the other side of your shoulder and, and be on the other side of the shoulder, make you look that direction. You know, just just little things like that, just to just loosen up the mood and you know, just always messing around with people. <laughs> you need players like that in the locker room, and it's, it's definitely good when it's, it's one of your best players on the team that can keep the locker room that loose. Have you ever seen Hang Time? Yeah, let me put on this jock jam real quick. I like to head downstairs to get treatment for practice and just get my body right and you know taking care of it for the longevity of the season and uh, trying to elongate my career as much as possible. Right now, I'm just working on a couple things that have been you know lingering but not serious at all. Yeah, almost like right in here. Right yeah, you know, I believe last night I played 40 plus minutes. So you know our training staff does a good job of helping us get ready. We just don't want these little things to become big things, so that's why we do all of this. It's maintenance. It's you know, just keeping up on your body. I think it's all uh, it's all part of the job. Am I? Uh, I'm saying like a how how am I screening? It? You just gotta be ready for anything with this coaching staff. Okay. Bill Lambier, Reggie Theus, obviously Kurt Rambis is the head coach. You know, guys that went very, very hard back in the day. So there's only one gear they know, and that's 100% you know, all the time. Oh, shoot, the first one. I'm OK, I'm OK. I'll get up. Coming up, coming up, coming up. Right, 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 right. Kevin's been tremendous all year. His work ethic, um, his ability to rebound is obviously second to none in the league right now. That's a rebound. All great rebounders have a nose for the ball, which means they're able to understand the flight of the ball and where the ball is going to come off while it's at its apex. Uh, and Kevin's no exception. You know, he, he has that ability and uses his uh, bulk and is and is able to hold people off to get the rebounds. Rimmed in and out and hit low. That time he beat three Knicks in blue jerseys to the basket. I'm not the most athletic guy in the world. Bill Russell said 80% of rebounds are below the rim. So for me. You know, that, that helps me. It's all about positioning and you know, having the tenacity to go after every single one. The 30-30 game against the Knicks, I just, you know, kept grinding it out, got into a, you know, great rhythm on the offensive and defensive glass. I had 31 rebounds and, and 28 points, and with two minutes left, I got three at the top of the key. A franchise record by Love. 31 points, 31 rebounds in 40 minutes. That was definitely a special night for me and probably the best game I've had in my career. And it was kind of almost my welcome to the NBA moment. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, whatever shows up on the stat sheet, so be it. You know, what really matters is the wins and loss column. And, you know, right now we're struggling a little bit. We all need to get better. We're all in this together. We're all a family. We're all going to figure this out. We're all going to get better. After practice, you'll get uh, some weightlifting done afterwards. Take your showers, get, get iced up, get your treatment done. Head home probably around you know, 3 30, 4 o'clock. But sometimes I end up uh, going to the grocery store. We are going to get some food right now, you know, kind of for the next you know, few days here and there. 
maybe some fresh produce, some, some good eats, maybe a few snacks here and there. Should probably get something for tonight. Some scallops or something. The rebounding master. <laughs> <laughs> the rebounding master. Um, I guess so. <laughs> you never have enough yellow mustard. <laughs> Gotta have my mustard, man. Shopping for food with Isaac, most of the time he'll just kind of go on his own. I'll write certain stuff down that I like that he can get from the grocery store, but in a lot of instances we go to the store together and try to pick things up. I'll show you something right here, Isaac. Like the roasted red pepper stuff uh -huh. is bomb. Like this stuff's bomb. Okay. Yeah, this one's high. I mean, it's higher in fiber. Oh, yeah. It's whole wheat. Yeah. I think that's it. I grabbed all the stuff with salsa. So. Cool. Let's do it. Let's check out what Zagoda wrote today. Signer in the box there. Sir, you have yourself an absolutely wonderful day. All right, you too. Appreciate it. All right, time to go home. We got the groceries. <laughs> <laughs>